Well, you know, growing up as in a cattle family in Florida, uh, you know, we didn't we, you know, we didn't travel. We didn't go on vacation when we were kids until uh, I was 16, and I used to go with my friend to Daytona Beach with his family like one week a year. We didn't know what vacations were, so we knew Florida. And uh, but as we, you know, as we got popular and started touring Texas more than any place in the world, we course know a lot of Texans and there's a there's a similarity really to native Texans and, and Florida crackers but and, and the real cattle people of Texas they know about the cattle industry in Florida because they come here and buy all of our calves and uh, ship them to the wheat fields you know in, in West Texas so they know about it it's it's your city it's city slickers that cause all the problems <laughs> period anyway everywhere I'm trying to get around to eventually here and you know it's the ignorance of, of, of them that uh, they have no idea you know they think we're just beaches and they don't realize the agricultural value of Florida California and Texas and there's and there's you know the funny thing about I mean because we've we've toured over 70 countries and, and the funny thing is is there's actually cowboys everywhere uh, I don't and think, rednecks and rednecks yeah I don't think I've ever been anywhere that haven't into a, into a cowboy uh, we've been in Sri Lanka there's cowboys there you know um, the Aboriginal the uh, Aboriginal uh, yeah yeah we they have we, their own rodeos we, yeah we've been to Aboriginal rodeo yeah it's not very high tech <laughs> it's really <laughs> low tech <laughs> but um, you know people that cowboy spirit you know I mean we used to go to Europe when we were real young well in the mid 70s and uh, before people spoke a lot of English like now people speak English you know everywhere you can kind of get by everywhere and speak in English but back then, you didn't run into as many people that spoke English. But they could say uh, John Wayne. They knew they knew John Wayne. You know, if you said ah, John Wayne, yeah, and, or if, you, if they saw you with a hat, they go John Wayne, you know, or something like that. So, um, you know, there's a cowboy spirit everywhere, and I think that's you know definitely alive in the Florida cracker cowboy.